Sports. Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where titles are won, legends are made, and fields are named after them. Saban Field at Bryant-Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. What a matchup we have in store. It's still early in the season, but this is a major test for a couple of squads who've gotten out of the gate undefeated. As we'll see, the number 14 team in the country, the TCU Horned Frogs. Taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. And the Horned Frogs will kick it away to start it off. It bounds through the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. First down here for the offense. Looking for space, it's Cobb. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. This is the kind of game, a top 25 matchup in the early season that you look for when you're trying to build your resume. Yeah, these are so fun because as a player, you kind of get bored if you don't get challenged. But when you've got an early season challenge like this, all the adrenaline, all the juice, Palmer, you're ready to rock and roll. I love this. We've had this game circled for a long time because we learn a lot in these types of games. What are these teams about? Which conferences are better? You're going to get a lot of answers to that. 
defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The offense setting up shop at the 46, first and 10. Moves. Quarterback checking the play. Wide out in motion. Quick pass on the jet motion. All down at the 39-yard line, but he's got 15 yards on the play and a fresh set of downs. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. The give to the back. Open space at the 25. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. What a run. Great speed, great vision, elusiveness. And David, he's tackled down close to the goal line. Yeah, and this offense, man, you can run the football like this. Man, you will have success, especially in the red zone, trying to get touchdowns. A first down run on the doorstep. He'll be brought down at the 5-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. See if they can get it done on second and goal. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. And he's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage by the big defensive tackle. It's looking like they're going to have to throw this one in now on third down, David. And you know the execution just has to be spot on. Timing especially at the quarterback position here. And thinking about the defense, they're aggressive in these situations. They're going to play man. They're going to play up tight on you. So I know that. Now how do I counter punch and attack this defense? And how about a decision time right off the jump? Fourth down. Do I want to go for it? First drive. Palmer, what you going to do? I'm taking the points right here. It's early in the game. You're trying to pay off this opening drive. Just get some points up on the board. If it was a little closer to the end zone, I'd say maybe go for it, but I'm playing conservative. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. to throw on first down. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you've, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. Looking to move it through the air. He's got his man. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys, that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short. You can throw it long. But they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. Offense lines up for a first and 10 from the 43. Power football with the run. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Quick pass on the fly motion. Across the 25. 
Give him six. Touchdown, TCU. Well, this offense is top ten in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need ten plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They're going to be a problem for defenses all year long. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Let's see how they set the tone on first and ten. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The evolution of the Alabama offense has always been built around what does the quarterback do best? And this guy's doing a lot of things well. And we've seen some sensational ones. And to your point, I like that. Jalen Hurts, really good runner. They built it around his feet. You know, Bryce Young, really good passer. Tua Tungabailoa, really good passer. More about the passing game, explosive passing plays. So they'll do whatever it takes to win. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the outside. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for a loss. Zings it complete to the right. At the 20, he's got space. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And that's why if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball. Close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. Touchdown, Bama! What a grab and go for the score. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point gives him a three-point lead at 10 to 7. So it's an 80-yard drive. And the capper, a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's we'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Time 
winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Looking to pass on second down. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Now facing a third down as they line up after the break. Looks as if they didn't get it off in time. It'll be a delay of game. The quarterback just lost track of the play clock. Didn't get the snap off quickly enough. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Quarterback moving out of the pocket. Looking for his man in the middle. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big cap. And what a huge chunk play for this offense. Just exactly what you need to move the ball down the field. You know, there's a lot of communication when it comes to defenses. Like, you have to talk. You have to understand, if somebody does this, I have to do this. I have to pass off wide receivers. Apparently, some of the communication was busted. Stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And they're not quite in rhythm there, it's incomplete. But how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved, and I'm on defense, because it messes with the snap count, it messes with the communication, and it can really rattle an offense. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. The Horn Frogs moving quickly to the line. On fourth down, looking to pass. Moves away as he feels pressure. Unloads to the wideout. He's got a first down and maybe a lot more. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. And the Horned Frogs line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Now on second and goal. He's looking to throw. He's got it. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. So loud, it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Hard Frog. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost. No problem. When you start in the black zone, inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety, you get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing, great job getting a touchdown. That ball scoots through the back of the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Field. 
Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game. So a lot to process and think about. And he earns a first down, and boy, did he earn it after taking that lift. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Out of the gun, the running back has it. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Get set, get set. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Got it. And he will score. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. Quick work on that scoring drive. Just four plays. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. send its offense back onto the field. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create something. And listen, if, you're, if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get back in. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tap. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. They're bringing heat. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. The Horn Frogs are moving quickly down the field. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Got some room entered to the goal line. Touchdown, TCU! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. And that's his second receiving touchdown of the game. My man is just finding pay dirt. Tell you what, these are the kind of guys that you continue to feature throughout a game when he can do this kind of damage after he catches the football. TCU, 21, Alabama, 17. Can't hang on, he muffs it. They got him in the end zone for a safety. Just an inexplicable lapse of judgment to go back into his own end zone. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. Hauls it in and looking upfield. Needed just a little more help to turn that into a big return. They'll mark him down at the 29. TCU has it back and the Horned Frogs go on offense. 
The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Here comes the offense on first down. Snapped it in the shotgun. Working that left side now. Snowed under by the defense. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. Well, this offense has come out slinging the pill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. They'll run it out of the shotgun. They knock him down right there. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. On the move. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work. The coach still thinks he was right. The officials say he was not. The challenge is denied, and the timeout is gone. And the Horned Frogs will punt this one away. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Pulls it in at the 25. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Complete downfield. Just gashing this defense, a big gainer to the 40-yard line. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. his tight end and maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that yeah nice job on the defense that's what you're supposed to do as soon as they catch the football you want to limit that yards after the catch he went nowhere after the catch nice job on the D. quarterback wants to throw on second down time to take a shot and it slips through his fingers incomplete that would have been a huge game if he could have held on that's one of those plays where you're going, man, he probably could have made that. The defense wasn't great on the play, but guess what? It goes down as an incompletion. Those are one of those bullets that you've got to dodge throughout a game to get the win to limit those big plays. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. On third down, he drops to throw. He's going to take off. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 with the first down. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. The Crimson Tide comes to the line with the first and 10. He's going to pass. The pass is incomplete, and the clock will stop with five seconds left. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Just enough time for one final play in this half. He's looking for an open man on second down. The pass is incomplete, and there are two kicks remaining on the clock. 
Well, I like this quarterback being aggressive and taking a shot. There's a better play there by the defense. Waning seconds of the first half, and they'll try to tack on a three before they head to the locker room. Splits the upright. It's good. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. We're ready to get it started here in the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Palmer. That is a decision he will likely regret. He brings it out of the end zone, and he's knocked down at the 10. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with anchors. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. Handoff from the gun. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Direct snap. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. And they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping him up, getting him on the ground, take away that run game, make him one-dimensional, put him in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Softened him up with a one, now to throw. Trying to make magic with his feet. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. You can tell this is a pass play. He has his eyes down the field. He's looking to throw the football. But how nice is it when you got a guy like this that can scramble and go get you a first down? Just really hard to stop from a defensive perspective. Nothing but green ahead. And they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. This defense really needs to be careful, and they have to play with great eye discipline, understanding where the football is at all times. Moving forward, they have got to know if this guy has the ball, because he is dangerous in space. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, when you're running counter, those offensive linemen crashing down, they've got to be able to pin those interior D linemen. They couldn't get it done there. They gave up too much penetration, and that led to the tackle for loss. On second down, he'll let it fly. Firing to the right, complete. Headed to the end zone. He'll be brought down. Three-yard line, an explosive play in the passing game has him on the doorstep. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage, but look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this. Touchdown, Horn Frogs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Well, they started with horrible field position, but ended with perfect field position in the middle of the end zone. It all comes down to execution, Reese. You've got to have guys going out and doing their jobs. You saw the offensive line up front. They were physical. Skill players made it happen with the ball in their hands, and the quarterback really showed command on that last drive. Here comes that Alabama offense. They are trailing by 
by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You gotta hold serve at this point, right? You gotta drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Send it downfield. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. Nice poise by the quarterback. Here's a big third down throw, and you want to push the ball vertically down the field, but if the defense takes it all away, check the ball down. Get it to your running back and let him go do the work and move the sticks for you. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Inside the 45. Can anyone catch him? He's at the 10. Touchdown time! And they take it in for six more points. This game must be moving so slowly for this quarterback. He sees everything two or three beats ahead. Way ahead. I mean, it's been, been really, really easy. I better get some more hits on him. I better do something to make him feel uncomfortable. Because right now, it's just like, oh, you're running that? Yeah, that's easy. I mean, he's, he's already read your mail. You better change the address, do something different. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Bounces through the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse. And they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Shakes off the tackler. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. He wants to throw. Pulls it in. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And this junior loves to show off that big arm. The Horned Frogs getting set on first and 10. He's looking to throw it. It's complete on the right side. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Well, he was putting up big numbers coming into this one. We knew the quarterback was going to go his way early and often. And with that last catch, he's now got over 500 yards receiving on the air. Offense threatening, first and 10 from the 31. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. You commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. The back goes in motion. Looking to throw on second down. It's complete to the right. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. And that's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. Wow, through the defense. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, as a defense, you know this is going to be a challenge every time you face this offense. They're one of the 25 best in the nation at getting first downs because they can pick them up in a variety of ways, including running the football. You have got to be physical when facing off against this offense. 
hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Well, the offensive line has got to give him at least a little bit of time to survey the field. He had no chance that time getting hit almost immediately after he got the ball. They go to the ground. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. This crowd rising up, sensing that its defense needs some help. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And he intercepts it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Going up top. And he holds it in at the 30. There he goes to the right. Touchdown, Alabama! And that one will put him up here in the second half. And the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. Fielded in the end zone, it's Palmer. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. To the air on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Palmer. They get him down, and that'll be the final play of the third period. Second down here as they go back to work after the break. He's looking to throw. Caught near the sticks, it's Palmer. Just what they were looking for to get this drive rolling. They're out to the 35. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there, getting that first. Give to the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Finds the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. Out of the shotgun on third down. Grabs it in the middle. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And this junior quarterback shows you why the scouts love that big arm of his. And the Horned Frogs are on the move. They run the reverse. Shakes off the defender. What a great job by the backside of the defense staying home. A lot of times the run looks like it's going the other direction. What happens? You start to chase. Nope. These guys stay home and play their assignment, and that's why they had success. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. 
Got his man on the right. Still on his feet at the 45. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. And they drag him down, but not before he picked up the first down. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense, we got to change something up here. They're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss? Pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. How about this defense coming out aggressive on first down? They're in the red zone. They're like, no, no, no. We're going to take the fight to you. Now setting up a second down and long and putting them in a great position to be successful. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Extending the play. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Makes the catch and steps out of bounds, but short of the first down mark. And that's why this QB speed is such an asset. He can use it to his advantage by himself time to make a nice throw down the field. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He caught it! And he won't be able to get in as the defense gets him down at the one. I love the aggressive nature there by the offensive play caller, too. He's not just playing it safe, get a few yards, center the ball, help our field goal kicker out. He's trying to move the sticks through the passing attack. Quarterback makes a nice... Touchdown, TCU! They move on top here on the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. And he puts it down the middle, and the lead is three here in the final period. The ball bounces through the end zone, and it will be a touchback. Here comes that Alabama offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out. You need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complimentary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. The gift to the tailback. At the 40, there he goes! And he's brought down after a nice game. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. Oh, no, the ball popped out. Picks up the ball and tries to make something of it. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up. You're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. Oh, they are breathing a sigh of relief after that recovered fumble. He wants to throw here on second down. He's got an open man. Bounced off his feet. Alabama quickly back to the line. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Alabama trying to cash in on this red zone trip. Throws to the wideout. Fires and picked off. Got room on the return. He's inside the 40. The 20. And he's going to run it all the way back. Touchdown, Hornfrog. TCU. No. 
What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense. Go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. He'll take the return and try to improve the field position. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. The tied offense rolls onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a pick six. He hurls one deep down the left side. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, Bama. The AT unit on the field. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. They'll see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. That ball skips through the end zone. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 25-yard line. The offense lining up for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. Zings it complete to the right. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. He's going to pass. And it's taken away by the defense, and they desperately needed that turnover. He'll try to take it back. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. How about that play by this defense? The offense trying to salt the game away with the lead. Defense makes the biggest play of the ball game, getting the pick, finding the end zone, and taking the lead late in this ball game. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Western Kentucky is lighting up the scoreboard right now thanks to a dazzling offensive display. They're up by 17 over Ball State. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes down to the quarterback position too, Reese. Don't let the moment get too big. Play within yourself, David, because this guy's practiced this situation before. No doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots. Throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit and possibly use my timeouts. Wonder if they'll be conservative on first and ten. He wants to throw. Trying to get to it. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Yeah, it fell incomplete because job of getting to the quarterback he's in the pocket yeah he's, he's comfortable but you get in there and you get a hit on him now he feels it can't throw the football can't follow through with his arm motion nice job by the defense they immediately call timeout trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late 
Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Here's a throw downfield late. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. And it's now or never. It's do or die for this offense. Fourth down, late in the game, trailing. They absolutely have to connect and move the chains right here. This thing's over. Fourth down, got to have it here. Finds his man, and they convert. And he scoots out of bounds, picks up the first down, gets the clock stopped, and now they're in business in plus territory. Love the play call in a two-minute situation here in the fourth quarter. Outbreaking route so you can make the catch, hopefully get out of bounds, and save yourself clock. Going up top on first down. Firing to the right, complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Looking to go up top on first down. It's complete. Timeout called by the offense. 24 seconds left on the clock. Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back. But, man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and can pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. Second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Buys a little time with his feet. And this one's not working. He'll just throw it away. Well, it's the fourth quarter, and you got to be so careful as a quarterback when you're throwing it over the middle of the field right now because these windows are really small. He's very lucky that last one was not picked off. comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. He'll try to do it himself. He steps out of bounds, but he's got enough for a first down. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, it's, it's so hard to get drives together because the clock starts to be your enemy. Really heads up play by the quarterback. Get in the first down, get out of bounds, and stop the clock. The Horn Frogs have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. They're trying to get to it. Got the back over the middle. They get the timeout call with seven seconds left on the clock. crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. On second down, he'll let it fly. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's incomplete, but the penalty flag has fallen in the holding zone. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense, unstoppable. Looking to throw on second down. Fires to the wide out. And the pass is incomplete, and the ball game is over, and this will be a game of what might have been. Winning can become a habit. Now they've won back-to-back -back games and probably building a little confidence. Yeah, and you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about.